just ate a half a bug and three quarters of a bug. So how many bugs did I eat all together? I don't know. I'm a duck. Today I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract fractions. Previously, we had learned how to find the LCD, or least common denominator. When you add and subtract fractions, that's the first step. So step one is going to be find the LCD, or the least common denominator. Okay, and if you remembered, I let's just put a fraction up here. Say I had two thirds plus two fifths. Okay, this is my my equation. First thing I want to do is find the common denominator for both three and five. So my first step is going to be to go ahead and list my multiples of those two numbers. So I'm just going to list a few here, and then I'll go to five. And we know that's 5, 10, 15, 20, and I think uh, I'm pretty good there. And you'll notice that I have a common denominator of 15. Okay, so I'm just going to circle those. So 15 is the number I'm going to use for a common denominator, and I'll show you how that works. So step two is we're actually going to rewrite the fraction using the common denominator. So write in your book step two rewrite the fractions using the new common denominator that you found. And we saw that that was the 15. So let me show you how that works. So I have 2 thirds so let's rewrite two thirds, okay? And now I need to rewrite it using the common denominator. Let me use a different color, 15, okay? So to go from three to 15, I multiplied five, okay? And if I multiply my denominator by five, I'm also going to have to multiply my numerator by five. So two times five is 10, okay? So this was our first fraction, first fraction. The second fraction we had was two-fifths. So I'm going to rewrite two-fifths. And to go from our common denominator of 15, from 5 to 15, I multiplied 3. And if I multiply 3 here in the denominator, I'm also going to need to multiply 3 in the numerator. So 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. So your last step is going to be step three. So I have my new equation. My new equation is 10 fifteenths plus 6 fifteenths. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my very last step, which is going to be basically add or subtract the numerators, leaving the denominators the same. So go ahead and write on step three, and I'll, of course I'll show you how to do this. Add or subtract, in this case we have an addition, add or subtract the numerators, okay, we're going to leave the denominators the same, okay, so I'm going to show you an example of this. So our new equation was 10 fifteenths. I'll just rewrite it over here. 10 fifteenths plus 6 fifteenths. Okay. I simply just add the numerators. I'm only going to add these two together. So 10 plus 6 is 16, and then our denominators stay the same. Okay. So now you'll notice that my new fraction is a, an improper fraction, which is correct, and that's okay, but you can also simplify that. So our last step um, would be to always simplify, or you might want to go ahead, um, and if, 
if indicated, change this back into a mixed number. Um, but basically our answer is 16 over 15. And I can, of course, change that. Um, I can divide that, change my, mic my improper fraction into a um, mixed number if my teacher tells me to. Or if it can be simplified anymore, I can simplify it. So my last step, of course, would be step four, simplify. Um, if you're able to. Now, we'll do some example problems on our left hand side of our INB. Okay, and on these example problems, be prepared to show your teacher what you have done. So we're going to have the equation 1 fourth plus 2 eighths. Okay, so I want you to add those together. Remember, our first step was to find the common denominator. Second step was to rewrite our fractions using that uh, common denominator. And the last step was just to add the numerators. Okay, so you're going to try to find the answer to that one. And I'm also going to have something, another one prepared to show your teacher this one. This is going to be um, two fifths plus. 1, 6, okay? You'll need to find a common denominator between the 5 and the 6 before you begin on this one. So be prepared to show your teacher those two problems. Well, I'm gonna eat me one whole chicken. I'm out of here.